Hey Worship Leader, welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. In this video series, I share with you helpful tips to help you become the best worship leader you can be, all while doing it as quickly as possible. And today we're talking about the three ways that you can start thinking like a worship pastor coming up. So I believe one of the biggest need in our local churches is for worship leaders to become worship pastors. I'm not saying that you have to be in a pastoral role at your church, but it's more of a mindset shift. The last thing our churches need are artists without a heart for God's word and his people. Worship leaders must shepherd their people, not just sing songs. So here are three ways that you can transition from just being a worship leader to thinking more like a worship pastor. Number one, pastor your people through song selection. It is normally within the realm of the worship leader's responsibility to pick out the songs. Sometimes we can fall in the trap of one of two things. We either do what we've always done or we do the song that is the coolest, newest release because that's what everyone else is doing. There's nothing wrong with doing a throwback and there's nothing wrong with doing new songs, but worship pastors are intentional with their song selection. And if you're going to step up and start thinking like a worship pastor, you need to think intentionally about your songs. I know this can be a little overwhelming and I actually made a video called, Are You a Theological Dietitian? And in that video, I help you think through what it's like to pick out songs intentionally like a worship pastor. I even made a guide for you. It's a, a checklist to make sure that you're on the right track. If you wanna get a hold of that PDF, just click the link in the description below and I'll send you a copy. Number two, pastor your people through speaking transitions. Whether you're speaking in the welcome or speaking while you transition from one song to another or speaking in the middle of a song, those are prime moments to shepherd your people. You don't wanna waste those moments, but just because you have room to speak doesn't mean you need to go on a rant or preach a second message. That's the preaching pastor's job. But if you want to pastor people through your speaking transitions, you want to make sure that what you say follow these generic guidelines. These are like tips within a tip. Be succinct. Say what you're going to say briefly and clearly. Be informative. We don't want to assume that people know you need to teach them. Communicate to them where the service is going, what they should do, and how they should respond. I actually had an in-depth discussion with Spencer from Leading Worship Well about this very topic. I'll link that video down in the description as well. Go check that out after this video. And then be challenging. God's word is not just informative, but it calls us to action. Number three, pastor your people through prayers. And the best way to lead your church in this way is to be authentic. People know when you're praying to them instead of God, don't do this. Pray to God and demonstrate to the people you are leading how to pray. And when we pray, we pray spirit-filled prayers. And what I mean by this is we don't just go through the motions. Just remember, you're praying to God and you're praying from a position of leadership on behalf of the whole church. And so once we realize that way, then we have to be intentional with our prayers. So I hope these three tips will help you think more like a pastor to help you shepherd and lead your people well. Be intentional with your song selection, your speaking transitions, and your prayers. When we take the time to pastor our people, our worship leading will be way more effective. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share this video, do all the things. I appreciate you being part of the Hey Worship Leader family. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.